Okay, I know a lot of people watch the funeral today, or um, if you haven't, you will. Uh, Al Sharpton, man, he was something else. He was the best actor and person I've seen in a long time. That's crazy. This is James Sutton. You know, I want to get right into it. It won't be a long video. I just have to point out a couple things. I watched the funeral today of George Floyd, man. It's like any funeral. Who wants and who hate? Who who likes to see a funeral? Who likes to see any person get killed in this country, black or white? Who want to see their, their their family members up there crying and going? No one. With that being said. Yeah, you had old Al Sharpton up there speaking, right? And I mean, it must have took him a good 10 minutes or so, maybe longer, maybe a little shorter than that, to get right into a political stance. And anybody who watched this, if you open your eyes up, just look at it from an open eye, you'll see what I'm talking about. First thing is he gets into is President Trump, right? When is there the a best time to bring this up and talk as discredit Trump as much as he can, right? It's a perfect time for him. So this is how he kind of went off. You know, he said a few things. I'm just going to touch down on a, a couple of things that I heard him say. One thing he says about the Bible and how Trump holds the Bible. He's never seen any of his, and since he was uh, been a preacher, anybody hold a Bible like this, right? On a picture that we've seen with Trump holding the Bible in front of a church. I said, okay, all right, okay. Then we, he goes into, you know, um, how the country has never been great, you know, uh, uh, referring to the make America great, great again uh, thing. He says the country has never been great, you know. But mind you, at this funeral, you had comedian Kevin Hart, Tyrese, Ludacris, T.I., a few others, all millionaires. I mean... All celebrities. But Al Sharpton said this country has never been great. We're not even going to get into Black Wall Street, right? Or any other black or American man or woman or woman that's been successful way before 1980s. And there's been a few. I don't even want to get into that part of it. What I want to get into is Candace Owens, for the people who haven't heard about her. She made a, 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 a comment about how a lot of these leaders sell their their ideology. And, you know, you get a lot of black people in the room, and the first thing you're doing, or your first thing you start to do is you start to relate with the community as far as the struggles and the community and what we don't have and what the white man has done to black people to keep them down and you know, and, 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 and all all these things that does nothing for black people in this country, but keep them right where they're at. It's called a gotcha moment. I've seen that clearly today. Al Sharpton, man. Black leader, huh? You know, this is a spiritual fight, y'all. I want to say this. To me, this is one of the biggest introductions to the Antichrist. One of the biggest introductions to me. And let me explain real quick of what I'm saying. You got people out here breaking and tearing down businesses, killing other people, killing other black people. Oh, David Dorn. Have you heard about him? 77 year old man. Died. Police chief. Chief. Been on the police force for years. Loved in his community. He got killed. From somebody trying to, during the riots, from a rider, shot him. Been on Facebook. Oh, here's another one. Young lady in uh, Iowa, I believe her name is Irie, Ke Irie Kerry. I might, I, I mean, Kelly, I might be pronouncing her first name wrong. Young girl, look a lot like my daughter. Got killed for just being too close to the rioting. Someone shot her right through her window, car window, right? Here's another guy. Oakland, California. Underwood, Mr. Underwood. 53-year-old 53 53 -year black man got killed 
for trying to keep peace during the riots. You don't hear one word about that. You know why? Because it wasn't by a police or necessarily another or a white man. This is the most twisted thing right here. You got people scared, white people scared to say that white lives matter too. You know why? Because of the fear and the backlash of what might happen. It's, it's all fear. This is why I say the Antichrist is getting introduced because when you start bowing down to evil, like the things I just said right there about you can't even say white lives are important also or any other lives are important also without somebody saying, yeah, but it ain't. You know, that is if you just think about it, that's twisted. That's a twisted mind, a way of thinking. It's twisted. You, you don't even got to be a Christian to know that is something wrong with that thinking. You have racial tension in this country from both sides. You got black people that's on social media all the time. You can get on TikTok right now and hear white people getting dis racially talked about all the time. Girls are saying, oh, white guys, white people this. We don't like white people. We hate white people. Let somebody say that about somebody that's black. It'll be a, a war out here. But you just got people just, oh, no, it ain't no big deal. It's no big deal. How twisted is that? And it all comes from what I'm saying. To me, and I'm just, just my own humble opinion, this ain't some God told me. It just, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the pattern. You have police officers bowing down on one knee. I mean, a whole squad and people out here tearing down, hurting, beating up, committing crimes. You got police officers. Everybody seen that bowing down. And then you got the guy in the front. If you go look at this, the guy in the front is get out on the one knee. Police doing it, doing up black pop. Half of them don't even know really what that means. I've personally had people in my family that was Black Panthers. But my aunties, and I'm not going to name no names, so I'm not foreign to that, right? I know enough. This is a spiritual fight, y'all. This is a spiritual fight. I said it before, and that's what it is. Racism. I used to think that racism was so real, people was really racism. I just don't believe that no more. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what are you talking about? I don't, but I just do not believe racism is a thing. I believe it's good and evil, and I believe people love or either they hate. You have people in every color line that that pertains to. It ain't just white people and black people. It's black people against black people. It's white people against white people. It's so on and so forth. Mexican people and the, the, all the Asian people. It's not about the race, it's about hate. That's why we can't overcome racism. That's the big trick of the devil. He's been using it for the beginning of time. How can you overcome racism? How can you overcome a person's skin color? You can't. It's impossible, think about it. How, how, how do you overcome that? Because it's, it's a made up word. I've heard that from Jesse Lee Peterson. And I at first I was like, oh, I don't know about that man. I asked God to reveal this to me. And he right. I mean, do history. You can even go back in history. It was actually a made up word. <laughs> Man, look. Every election year, we have this. Like a lot of people know, we have all this. So many people hate Trump. They hated Trump before he got in there. So they're doing everything they can to get this man out of office. By bringing out Sharpton on to talk about something that has nothing to do with George Floyd's funeral. Make America Great Again has nothing to do with George Floyd's death and his family and what they're going through. But man, you better believe this is the best time to bring that up. And you know what? We ain't seen nothing yet. You're going to have all type of uh, Ar 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 Arbery case and their family. They're going to try to range all get all these people together to push this evil agenda and that's what i call it evil and it's evil if we really love black people or all people like we should 
we would act accordingly to everything that goes on in this country. Just like David Dorn's death, you won't hear about that. Just like the, the 40 people that died in Chicago in the last couple weeks, that's brushed up under the rug. It's called politics when you're dealing with street stuff, right? Nobody want to get their hands dirty. I'm not saying no one. I'm just saying you don't hear about it like this. It's not, it doesn't sell. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a spiritual fight. Don't be fooled, man. You know, I'm paraphrasing things from the Bible, but that road to, to, to heaven is narrow. That, that, that road to hell is wide. The Bible said you even going to have believers falling off and losing faith in the end times because of the pressure of the Antichrist. And I believe this is a great introduction to what we're about to see or what we're already in right now. Man, do what's right. Stop being fearful over everything you hear just because you don't want you don't want to be an outcast or what they call it now, canceled. They already canceled you. They already canceled you. You just don't know it yet. The only reason why you don't feel canceled because you believe and you agree with what they say if you're one of them, those, right? That's why they haven't canceled you. But say something that you believe in. Stand up for something that you believe in and see how quick and how much love they have for you after that. And I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about the evil mind frame behind what's going on. Because it is a spiritual thing, man. And a lot of us, a lot of people is blind to it. I just got a text. It probably was Al Sharpton saying when I'm just, hey, get around Vegas, man. Go love somebody today, man. Don't be fooled by all this trickery. Ask God to lead you and show you. Don't take my word for it either. Ask God to show you if what. Just ask Him to show you and really ask Him to show you. And I promise you, He will. Get around Vegas. Man, look, we're going to get out of this. This ain't the first time we've been through this, and it won't be the last time we have rise before. That's another reason why you know this don't work Because if it worked, we wouldn't be in the same predicament Little tidbit, and I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people know A lot of people don't know How we make changes is doing it the right way Going to your state Going to these meetings These laws that you want um, Sitting in there Getting these laws passed by legislators Right? Parents teach your kids When, you get, when they get pulled over Not to run, not to talk back Not to act, act crazy just do what they got to do so you can get on your way. We'll save a lot of lives, a lot of black lives, just by being responsible and being accountable to the things that we know we need to do. Because that's what I was taught. Get around Vegas. I love y'all, man. I know a lot of people don't agree with what I'm saying, but that's okay. We, can, I can still have love for you. If you don't love me, that's okay. I'm not doing this for you to love me. I'm doing this for you to lead you to God, man. This is not my truth. This is, I'm just repeating what's in the word and I'm paraphrasing it. If you don't believe me, get in there and see it yourself. Matthew 6, 33. Talk to you next video.